and testicle implants if you have had an orcupexy. So this is a very specially requested video. Somebody actually emailed the office to ask me specifically to do this video for them. So I'm absolutely going to do it. And I'm not great at answering the comments here in YouTube uh, because I get so many. Basically, I have uh, a few hundred videos on here over seven years. So a lot of the time I do miss the comments here, but I'm going to get better at answering them. Um, but I have a TikTok, I have an Instagram. I'm usually a lot more accessible over on those channels, um, but I will get better at, at the comments on here. So you guys don't have to email the office, but I really do appreciate the questions. And actually in this video, if you do have other questions about this topic or other things I'm expert in, please do comment below and I will absolutely make you a video because these are important topics. There's really not a lot of information out there. And I feel very passionately about getting the information out to you guys. Okay, so first things first, what is an orchipexy? So orchi usually means anything got to do with the testicle and pexy means a lifter to fixate it. And so why would this be done? So usually it's a pretty simple procedure, uh, well, depending on the indication, but it usually means putting one or two stitches uh, between the testicle and the scrotum so it fixes the testicle in position. It's usually done for a few different reasons but the most common one would be a condition called cryptorchidism or undescended testicles that's usually done in infancy it, with modern medicine. Um, so most men who've had that it's uh, been done when they're very young. Another fairly common reason it may be done is if a patient has testicular torsion. So usually they'll only have the torsion on one side. It's most common between the ages of 12 and 18. And usually it is associated with a testicle that's too mobile in the um, scrotum, or we used to call it the bell clapper deformity. And so usually the pexy <clears throat> will be done on both the side that had twisted and the other side to prevent it twisting. Now, while orchopexy isn't necessarily a very common procedure that needs to be done, I do see it quite a bit in my practice because it's not unusual that the patient who's had testicular torsion or cryptorchism has a smaller testicle, you know, something in the range of this or even smaller again. And so that patient is more likely to come to me to get an implant uh, put in for testicular enhancement or prosthesis to replace one, to balance it out, that sort of thing. So usually how we're going to place the testicle implant is we're going to go into, it's called the median raphe. There's a line down the center of the scrotum. That's where we're going to put our little incision, regardless of uh, the size of the implant we put in. We usually can keep our incisions around one inch, typically, as these are soft and squishy and we can squish them uh, in through a very small incision. So we keep that to a minimum. Either way, the incision tends to heal super well because it's in that median raphe, which is kind of a natural line that's there. We also, I also like to go down low on the scrotum because in most cases the patient wants those testicles to sit low in the scrotum and uh, that's the position we prefer to put them in in the first place. So it is definitely my experience that when I do this procedure on men who've already had an orchopexy, it tends to be a little bit more complicated. First of all, there has been previous surgery there. Sometimes there's scar tissue there. So it doesn't act as normally as tissue who's that's never had surgery. And that's you know, pretty typical. We see that on all sorts of surgical fields. But the other thing is usually we like these implants to sit in the same layer as the natural testicles are to keep them in the most natural position possible. So they move normally, they feel normal, and they hide the testicles that are already there. It has been my experience with um, orchopexy, usually the native testicle is fixed right where we'd want to put these guys. So it tends to be in the way. So in that situation, it does take a little bit longer. We may have to extend the incision. I've always been able to do it through the little incision, but a lot of times we have to release that orchopexy and maybe move it backwards and out of the way of the new testicle implants. So it's definitely, 
a little bit trickier. It takes, you know, usually testicle implants, a very straightforward case for me, uh, will take between 30 minutes and one hour. If there has been previous surgery there or an orchid pexy, um, sometimes it doesn't really affect the field much, but definitely I have seen that sometimes we do have to repeat that orchid pexy, get the native testicle out of the way so we can put in the implants. But it is definitely possible uh, to do testicular enhancement uh, in patients who've had a previous orchid pexy. So I hope this answers your question keep the questions coming and um, I am located in Miami Florida testicular enhancement testicular implants are a big part of my practice um, some patients will do them uh, to replace missing testicles to balance out the other side we can make them exactly the size we want them to uh, be so um, if it's your goal we can match the testicle you have left behind usually if you have one testicle um, it, it tends to uh, be bigger especially if the other testicle was reduced it has this what we call compensatory growth uh, so that's where the um, custom implants that we can create to match your native size exactly uh, can come in uh, very useful I always use these soft squishy implants which aren't available everywhere they tend to be very well tolerated um, sometimes we just put implants in because the patient wants to go bigger um, and we can go up to something like this size in a lot of patients depending on the scrotum um, if this is something you're interested in uh, links in the bio we're accepting uh, consults and we'd be happy to chat to you in person